こんばんばはフォーレックス TV ニューヨークのレミです3月4日火曜日の為替レポートニューヨークレビューをお伝えします4日のアメリカ株式市場でダウ平均は続落しましたダウ工業株30週平均は前日比45ドル10セント安の1万2213ドル80セントで終えたナンスダック総合株価指数は前日比 1.68 ポイント高の 2260.28 で終えたバーナンキー FRB 議長が講演で住宅市場の不振につついて言及しましたまたアナリストによるシティグループの利益見通し引き下げが市場心理に重しとなりました午後にアンバックファイナンシャルグループの資本増強し策について事態が前進していると伝わりましたニューヨーク外国為替市場で円相場は促進しましたドル円は前日10銭円高ドル安の103円30銭から40銭で取引を終えたユーロドルは 1.5215 から 1.5217 ドルで取引を終えたそれでは FXDD のグレッグ・マイクラウスキーさんとのインタビューをご覧ください Well, in today's session, we're seeing continued volatility across all markets.、Uh, U.S. equities are back down in negative territory on the heels of more bad news from the financial sector as well as the tech sector. And、uh, with risk aversion up、um, on the heels of Bernanke's、uh, home foreclosure comments, we're seeing the yen strengthen against the dollar. So, in the near term, if you could give us your yen forecast. Right, the dollar yen was,、uh, it did uh, uh, go down a little bit today, today in reaction to the comments.、Uh, this afternoon it started to rebound a little bit.、Uh, we hit a key level, or there was a, a, an option barrier at the 102.50 level、um, that held, and, and toward the end of the day we saw a little bit rebound in the stock market, and we saw the dollar yen、uh, likewise、um, uh, rise up、uh, you know, more to over the 103 level. So it sort of held the, held the support level like it was supposed to do. And And、uh, was able to uh, uh, rebound a little.、Um, uh, go- going forward,、uh, we have the key unemployment number coming on Friday. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that the dollar has re- necessarily reached its low for the week, but I, I sort of expect it to sort of uh, uh, remain in a range、uh, for something like the dollar yen. I think it would be the 102.50 level. Uh, would be, we'd probably find buyers against that level and move up、uh, you know, maybe to the 104 level and be,、uh, before that key, key release on Friday. Okay, Greg,、um, you just touched on some of the themes that have been weighing on the dollar.、Mm-hmm. Um, earlier and overnight, we got the、uh, monetary policy、uh, rate announcements from both the RBA and BOC, which was pretty interesting.、Um, the RBA hiked by 25、uh, basis points, while the BOC cut by 50 basis points.、Mm-hmm. But although they had a divergent monetary、uh, policy decision, we saw both the Aussie and CAD pull back. So, in the coming sessions,、uh, if you could give us your outlook for the Aussie as well as CAD. Right. Right.、Uh, well, the, like you said, the Aussie, both of them did、uh, pull back a little bit.、Um, uh, some of the oil was down and the commodities were down, so it had an effect. And a lot of times, you know, the,、uh, the last time I think the, 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 the Reserve Bank of Australia raised rates, we had the same sort of reaction where it, it's already, already priced into the market. And so it ends up coming, coming down, retracing, and then moving back,、uh, back higher.、Uh, obviously, they're,、um, uh, you know, the, the The, uh, both of the economies are sort of, or one of them is, 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 is grabbing onto the China situation and the strength of, of the exports、uh, and the growth that,、uh, that that region is sort of experiencing, while as, while as Canada is, is experiencing the opposite with the slowdown in the U.S. So they're being affected、uh, greatly by、uh, exports to the U.S. and、um, Uh, the new chief,、uh, you know, Carney, came in and、uh, lowered rates by 50 basis points. The GDP yesterday was much weaker than they expected. And、uh, so it was, it was, I think it was the right move. So, but we're seeing that,、um, we're seeing it in the, com- in the, in the traded currencies how、uh, a lot of times the news is already discounted in the market. And sometimes what they, they say after the, after the releases also have an effect. The, 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 the Bank of Canada comments in particular were, were a little bit more forward thinking, saying that we expect more eases、uh, and greater weakness to come, at, come going forward. And I think that, that、um, 
um, was a, a signal um, uh, to sell some of the Canada. So I think that, that that's what we saw today in the markets. Well, Greg, speaking of economic uh, economic data, looking ahead to tomorrow's North American session, we do have a few uh, U.S. data releases that we'll be closely watching, including the ADP report ahead of Friday's uh, non-farm payroll. So let's take a look at euro dollar. Um, we also have the uh, ECB rate decision on Thursday, mm -hmm. and although euro dollar was fairly range bound in today's session, going forward, uh, looking ahead of the ECB rate decision and, and NFP on Friday, what is your forecast for euro dollar? Right. Well, the the euro dollar, um, we certainly have heard a lot from uh, the central bankers out of uh, the ECB about how um, you know they're definitely concerned about inflation, and uh, you know the the, uh, the CPI is still running above three percent. The target is two. 2%. And as long as that's the case, um, they're going to they're going to not necessarily be as concerned with growth. Now, interestingly enough, their GDP came out for the fourth quarter uh, today, and although the headline uh, uh, year on year uh, number came in as expected, some of the pieces weren't so great. The household um, household growth for the fourth quarter was uh, minus 0.1. Uh, we saw government minus 0.1. Uh, and we saw investment in fixed uh, fixed capital investment by by businesses plus 0.8, but that was down from 1.2. Those pieces seem to me that they're going to be all weaker going forward in the first quarter um, for uh, the euro euro GDP. So we're going to see slowdown in the growth um, in 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 the ECB, and that's what they've they've been telling us as well. Uh, the European Union is is that they're they're going to experience slower growth going ahead. Now, as far as the inflation front. Um, you know, on a year-on-year -year basis, if you look back, um, going back um, a year, um, we, there are some some uh, numbers that came out um, uh, not uh, that in the in the coming months are going to be replaced by new or hopefully smaller increases. I think there's like a 0.7 increase and a 0.6 increase, not next month, but the month after. That if they're replaced by something like 0.2 or 0.3. Um, then, you, then you should see the the year-on-year year inflation rate come down in in the European uh, Union, and 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 that would help the ECB um, in their mon monetary policy, especially in the light of you know perhaps uh, you're going to see much slower growth going ahead. So it's not over for you know inflate. They they talk about inflation, but I think there might be bright signs signs ahead. Now saying that. You know, consumer prices, the producer price in indexes are still high, and if if the if the, they start, if they if that some of that price uh, increases as a result of higher energy and food start making their way into the consumer price index, which is the big wild card, then it's going to be still a big big problem over there, and they're probably going to keep their rates uh, high. So as a result, you know, we're seeing the euro dollar strength. Uh, we saw it go, go above the 150 uh, uh, level. Uh, now we're seeing it in between 151.40 and 152.75. Um, 75 is sort of the range. We'll see what happens on Friday and uh, in the U.S. And if the number is weak, we're going to see the euro strength to continue just because of those fundamentals uh, from the central bankers. 以上 FXTV のグレッグマイクロスキーさんとのインタビューでした。フォーレックス TV ニューヨークのレミがお伝えしました。最新の為替情報についてはフォーレックス TV ジャパンをご覧ください。<音楽>